right? See, I knew you girls would like it. Are you sure we can afford this place? Kawaii Chan was curious about that too. Afmao Senpai, are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure. So, uh, what do you even do for a living to make the kind of money for this place? <laughs> it's a night job. I really don't want to talk about it. I, uh, don't want word to get around to, uh, Gareth and Lawrence. Uh, <laughs> if they found out, they would be so mad. What? You can't trust us? <laughs> Kawaii chan, you literally follow Afmao when she's with Eren just to take pictures of them. But it's my ship! Kawaii chan promises! Outside of that, you can trust me! <sighs> Don't worry, Kawaii chan. I won't trust you, but I'll live with you. Oh, cool! Hmm, I wonder. Who else do you know that might have a night shift? You know what? Fine, Af. Keep it a secret. We live with you now, so we'll find out eventually. But Caitlin Sama, Kawaii Chan wants to know now! Patience, Kawaii Chan. Let's play Afma's game. If she's so set on keeping her job a secret, then it'll be fun to find out. What exactly does she mean by that? You know, Caitlin Sama, she just likes to get in a snarky remark. She does that a lot to her customers at IHOP, which is why she always gets bad tips as a waitress. <laughs> Psh, I'll tip her to mind her own business. Happy thoughts. <laughs> we all live together now, you know. Speaking of which, I made you these. Huh? What's this? Well, Kawaii Chan made it for Afmao Senpai as a thank you for asking Kawaii Chan to be Afmao Senpai's roommate. Aw, thanks, Kawaii-chan. This is really nice of you. <laughs> In any case, we should start unpacking and picking our rooms! Caitlin saw my Kawaii-chan both agreed before we came here that since Afmao senpai is paying more on rent, Afmao senpai should get first pick of the room! Maybe Afmao senpai should take the biggest room! <laughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 Kawaii-chan. I'm really fine with whatever. Oh, stop being so modest! Senpai was the one that found the house and did all the work to get it. She deserves to have the biggest room. Trust Kawaii Chan. She and Caitlin Sama don't mind at all. Now go on and pick. Kawaii Chan is gonna be here to get her stuff down from the truck. Uh, okay. Do you need me to help you get your stuff down, or do you think you should be fine? Er, uh, Kawaii-chan? Okay, then, just ignore me. There's no way you can't hear me with those ears. Uh-huh. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm just going to grab my laptop really quick from the moving van. Here it is. Awesome. All right, you do your thing, Kwai Chan. I'm gonna go. Ugh. Seems like I'm getting in the way. Aaron? Eee, so cool! I said. Uh, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry I wasn't watching where I was going. Uh, it's no problem. Here, you'll probably need this. afford another one if I broke it. I know how much it means to you. Plus, I kind of know what you have on it. <laughs> Quiet, you. <laughs> Do you ladies need any help or anything? <laughs> Trust me, we've got this cool guy. Besides, I could outlift you any day. <sighs> is that a challenge? Always is. Mm, all right, then. But some other day. For now, I'll leave you guys be. Again, for helping me pack my old apartment, and uh, 
helping me find this place. It's no problem. Um, maybe you want to hang out later? I got like a box of chocolates we could share. Uh, yeah, sure. I'd love to spend time with you. Were you taking pics of us again? No. Nope. Uh-huh. I swear, if I see them around the house... <laughs> Let's see, so a room. Wow, this house has a ton of space. Like, literally a ton of space. More than I'm actually used to. <laughs> this is so nice! It's even got a pool! Kitchen! You decided on a room? Nope. These crates are yours. This is your room. Wait, what? Oh, hold, hold on a minute. I didn't even pick this room to begin with. How did you even know I want this room in the first place? Kawaii Chan and I talked about this before we came to the house. We both agreed you did all the work to get this place, plus you're paying more rent. So we feel it's only right you get the big room. But. Don't fight this, please. And only make Kawaii-chan and I feel better about moving in with you on our budget. Fine. You know what? I don't mind if that's the case. But if that changes, we'll talk about moving rooms around then, okay? <laughs> Fine. That works for me. I've already picked my room. What most concerns me is what we're doing for dinner. Maybe we can, like, order pizza later if we get hungry or something? Oh, that sounds like a plan. Besides, I don't really want to cook. Knowing Kawaii-chan, she's just gonna ask me to make strawberry puffs again. What's that? Uh, I'll make them for you sometime. Anyway, good luck decorating. <laughs> Dorg. She can't tell me what to do. It's own bathroom? A walk-in closet? I can't believe they let me have this room. I have the bestest friends ever! Hmm. Gonna need to make some space for Celestia when she gets delivered by the dog movers. But in the meantime, time to make this place feel more like home. Whew, okay, bed set up. That's really what's important to survive for tonight. Well, there is one more thing I need to survive tonight. I'm so sorry to put you in a crate. I just moved into a new house, you see. It's a new experience, but I'm glad it's an experience I get to share with you, my senpai. Oh, if only you were real. It's just, I don't want anyone to find out about us. Are you seriously flirting with that poster? Caitlin, not before you come in! <laughs> My Irene, you are such a dork! I was practicing lines for a play I'm in! <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were in a play. A play about crazy people with drawings for boyfriends! <laughs> Good luck ever getting a lead role! Caitlin, get back here! I swear, Caitlin, you... Gwaijin? Asmal Senpai, let's go introduce ourselves to the neighbors! Come on! Uh... <laughs> you know what? Sure. I'm all about that. 
But are we giving our neighbors anything, or...? Well, Kawaii-chan has a fruit bowl! She only has one, so we can only meet one neighbor! Well, that's better than nothing. Let's go! Uh, hello? Greetings from the head of the neighborhood committee. My name is Zane Romave. As the leader of this neighborhood... Wait, Zane Romave? You're Garth's little brother, aren't you? Oh, I remember you. Hello! I don't know if I want to remember you. Pfft. Well, we remember you. You're that jerk that did all those horrible things to everyone in senior year of high school. <gasps> That's right! Does it look like I care right now? So you're the head of the neighborhood committee? Why? Power. That's why. And just because you're here doesn't mean I'm going to make your lives any easier. Now here, take this. It's a welcome packet. Thanks? Oh, I didn't make it. I'm just handing it to you. I personally don't care if you feel welcomed or not. I just want you to acknowledge I have power over you and you have to deal with it. Haven't changed much, have you? I never intend to. Enjoy living here. <laughs> Kawaii doesn't like him. I can't think of anyone who would. Let's just forget him for now. Come on, let's go meet someone new. Yeah! Wow, nice house. We really hit it with this neighborhood. Yeah! Well, well, well. I didn't know cute girls were delivering pizza these days. B Brendan, what are you doing here? I live here. And by the looks of it, you do too. Y yeah, we just moved in next door, actually. Kawaii Chan and myself. Brendan Kun, long time no see! Kawaii chan I didn't think you would be... Ugh. He fainted. I guess he still has a crush on you, Kawaii chan <laughs> Well, Kawaii chan did consider dating him once. Yeah, uh, wait, wait, what, huh? Uh, how many guys have you dated, Kawaii chan moving in right across from us on the same day that we are? How lucky is that? Now we don't have to feel alone. Come on, let's go say hi. Yay! Well, I gotta admit, this place isn't half bad. Definitely an upgrade from my old place. <laughs> what did I tell ya? See, we knew you'd like it. I'm going to like stealing your girl even more. What did you say? I said I'm going to like firing up the grill even more. This place is perfect for barbecue parties. Did, did he just say that he wanted to steal our AF now? I don't know, but if he did... Hey there, new neighbors. My name's Afmau, and this is... Aw, oh, sh... Afmau! Garth, Dante, Lawrence, seriously? <laughs> See? Ladies only say my name when they want me. She just said all of our names. No. 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 Don't tell me you guys are... Please just tell me you're helping this person move into their house here. Nope. Looks like they're moving in. <laughs> hey, Kawaii-chan. Let me ask you. Who do you ship me with? Huh? Why would you ask such a question? Just trying to prove a point. Well, Kawaii-chan thinks Dante-kun is cute, but she doesn't think you're worth shipping with someone like Afmel senpai That's what I th- Wait, what? <laughs> 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 Told you he was no threat. Don't you two start with me! Ugh, whatever. I'm gonna go unpack. 
speaking of shipping, Kawaii Chain has to go set up her. Uh. Be back and don't follow, especially you, Afmo Senpai! That was weird and oddly specific. <laughs> it's Kawaii chan. You expect anything less than weird? Anyway, I'm gonna go continue to fix up my room. Good luck with these guys. All right, you can just leave me here with these guys. <laughs> Run! Whoa! Uh. Lawrence, Garrett. Now, 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 we can explain. You see, since you were moving here, we decided to move as well. This place just so happened to catch your eyes, so we moved here. We had no idea you were moving here as well. Lawrence, look me in the eyes. Are you lying to me? A lie to you? <laughs> no, no, never. I mean, you know what? Garth can answer that. Uh, Garth? Garth! Meep! Garth, did you guys find out that I was moving here and decide to move in as well? Yeah, uh, no. Uh, Dante was the one who moved us here because he set up the viewing this morning. Yeah, that's it. Uh, go talk to him. Garth! Garth! Oh, I swear, these guys are just... Uh... Dante! Dante, hey, come here. Why, hello there, baby. What are you doing with your face? I'm just admiring your beauty from here. Say, do you need any help moving into your new place? I'm twice as strong as Garth and Lawrence combined. No thanks. But I gotta ask, did you really find this place on your own? I did. You know why? Because I wanted to be next to the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> My dog, Celestia? You can't be that dumb. <sighs> Never mind. Yes, I wanted to be next to your dog. Sheesh. But you know what? I find it cute that you're so cute. That made no sense. Ugh, I can't flirt on an empty stomach. You know what? I give up for today. But you will be mine, Lady Athmau. Ew! See you around, neighbor. What? What even happened? I swear, everyone's just acting super weird today. Speaking of empty stomach, <laughs> I think I could go for that pizza right about now. Kwai-chan! Caitlin! Hmm, it's quiet. They downstairs, maybe? Let's see, what's this over? <gasps> oh, my! Now? <laughs> I'm having second thoughts about asking Kawai Chan to room with us. I was about to ask. What happened? She manhandled my poster! You mean your 2D boyfriend? Uh, it looks perfectly fine. That's not the point! 
she put him on the floor as a sacrifice to her stupid ship and tried. <laughs> I told you not to let her ship you like that. But you normally don't seem to care when she does that. <laughs> I wasn't living with her until now. Oh, do you need a bedtime stowy? I mean, it's only 5 p.m., but yeah, I could use a nap. All right. Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a princess named Athmau. Oh, this sounds like it's gonna be a nice story. And a knight named Aaron. No! No shipping! Mm -hmm. Trying to 